Now, my next guest was one of the stars of this year's Traders. But since the show, Paul Gorton has become an ambassador for the National Bullying Helpline after opening up about his own experiences. And it's lovely to have you here this it's morning, to be Paul. Here. Um, huge Trader span, as you well know. Yep. <laughs> uh, very much the star of the show for many of us, Paul. But um, off the back of the huge success of this show, you, you've absolutely plowed your time into this ambassadorial role with the National Bullying Helpline. And it's yeah. a very serious one for you because there's a very personal stance to it. Yeah, and it's interesting. I mean, anyone that knows me know that I'm a bit I'm silly anyway, and I'm, I like all the fun side of life. But I think after coming out of the show and amassing a bit of a following, I thought, well, how can I put some good back into the world from it? And then you look at your own experiences, and I thought there's nothing closer to my heart than, I guess, bullying or being a kid and going through kind of tough times with kind of your... You know, your fellow classmates around you picking on you, etc. So mm -hmm. I thought I'm going to throw 100% of my life into trying to raise awareness um, for any kid or even in early adult or older adults. Mm -hmm. If they need help and support or if they do feel like they're going through bullying, that there is help out there, even if you feel like there isn't. Because that, I think that's the problem. If you, if you are in that position, you sometimes feel like you don't have a voice. Yeah. And there maybe isn't the right person to listen to it if you do finally find your voice. And it's, it can be very difficult to have the strength to do that. And that's what this is all about. There is a network there of people to help. Yeah. And I think personally, I think any kid or anybody, you should always go to your parents first. I mean, yeah. I've got a little boy now that's two. I hate the idea of him not coming to me first. Oh, it's first. heartbreaking to think of it's it. It's so sad. It is. But I guess some kids don't have that relationship with the parents. So I think go to your parents first, go to your friends. And worst case scenario, there is the National Bullying Helpline. There is literally someone you can call and have a conversation with and you will feel better from it. So what, what sort of thing did you experience, Paul, then growing up? Well, mine, from an early age, it's just the constant name calling. Every single day, you realise you are going to be taking the mick out of just constantly. Then there's a little bit more physical stuff, being kicked and punched and headbutting and all that type of stuff. But I think, for me, I, I almost feel, well, my time's over now. Like, that happened to me, what, 30 years ago or wherever it was. I think there's kids today that are still going through the same thing. And it almost hurts more today because we, we should be a lot more aware uh, and kids especially should be a lot more protected. Mm. And I think a lot of them are. It just feels like on the ginger side of things, maybe they're a little bit behind where it's still seen as more comical and not offensive. Mm. And I think that needs to change. I know, it's so ridiculous, isn't it? When you break it down, and sadly you've heard so many similar stories since you started talking about your experiences. Yeah, and, and you know what? The, the, the most recent one is there's a guy on Twitter, uh, or sorry, on X, he had 5,000 followers doing uh, football or something, and he shared my, uh, my story and said, you know, I've also gone through bullying, I'm ginger and all this type of stuff. He started getting abuse on the actual post and he's deleted his account. This is like last week oh, that it's yeah. still going on. That's incredible. You just like, when you talk about the colour of your hair, I, I mean, it's, like, it's just awful. If, any, if anyone can pick on something that they think could be perceived as your weakness or their weakness, it yeah. doesn't take very much. I mean, Ed Sheeran has openly spoken about the tough time he had at school, yeah. as has our, our Rylan as well. I yeah, mean, of course. You know, all, they, they, it sounds so ludicrous, but it, it deeply affects you, particularly as a child. Yeah, I, th I think it changes you. And it moulds you into someone different. I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I wasn't ginger. Mm. It helped me develop a sense of humour and a personality, knowing that you're, I'm going to be taking the mick out of. I try to get ahead of that, and I'll make the joke first. Yeah, but so you that's almost exhausting build a sense way of to be as well, isn't oh, it? Oh, I know. You know Thank God a... I've got high energy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but even on the day you, you mentioned your little boy, even yeah. on the day your little boy was born, yeah, there was someone in the hospital said something you know, fairly hurtful to you. Yeah, and do you know what? We had such a tough... Uh, Charlie had such a tough entry into the world. We were in hospital for a week. I thought Kate was going to die at some point or mm. Charlie was going to die. So the, these kind of thoughts and such raw emotions are going through you. And then when Charlie actually arrived and Kate was passed out on the, on the bed next to us, the midwife walked in and said, um, I bet you hope he's not ginger. As like a joke... And I was like, I had Charlie on my chest and I was like... And you've just been through a week of It's one of the first torture. times I felt offended. Because I, I felt like going, why have you just said that to me? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I've never, ever felt like that kind of before. I've always just taken it type of thing. Yeah. But yeah, really bizarre. I mean, as we know, there's all, 
all sorts of forms of bullying. And like you say, I mean, you, you think it really did even affect your grades and your studying at school. And yeah. there'll be a lot of, of students and pupils at home now during holidays watching this going, yeah, that, that's me. That's yeah. how I'm feeling right now. Well, it's the, it, like, I, it almost, maybe it helped me become a class clown mm. and not, kind of study more in school or not think more. I think that there's ripple effects that can happen mentally that maybe you aren't even conscious of until it's too late. So it's only now when I look back that I go, oh, well, I did try and make everybody laugh. I wonder if I would have been built that way if it wasn't for having this colour hair and maybe yeah. it snowballed into who I am today. It becomes maybe. some sort of a superpower eventually, doesn't it? You well, have I to think... have a shield in some way. And, exactly and, right. Yeah. I think you've got anything that you think is a, a negative or a vulnerability, you do try and you have to use it as a superpower. Mm -hmm. And I think, especially with trolling or for people picking on you, it is tough saying people need a thicker skin, but like, it is good to have a thicker skin and realise that the words that I said to you, they honestly do not matter one little bit, but then if you feel like they are mattering, then there is somewhere that you can go. Yeah, and of course, we know it. social media doesn't help on any level, course, you know, yeah, for, yeah. for so many people. But, um, you know, just to touch on the traders, of course, I have to ask, you caught up with a lot of them at Comic Relief, didn't you? I did, so, yeah, yeah. Was it a nice little get together again? Not with Harry, it... no, no, I can't stand him. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking. It was, it was lovely, it's amazing. And yeah. we went through such a magical event together oh, it was that, funny. You know, I, I, even now I pinch myself going, hold on, what did we do? Like, I, and when we were watching it back, it was just incredible. And David Williams is playing me uh, on Comic it, Relief, on comic what's Relief. that about? What is that about, <laughs> exactly? It was a brilliant series, you see. We just all loved it. We were all completely oh, addicted to it. Um, Paul, thanks so much for talking about that, because it, it'll be affecting an awful lot of people, unfortunately, and to know that there is some form of help out there, that you can speak to anonymously if you yeah. want to um, will be a great comfort to a lot of people. And if you or someone you know has been affected by bullying, you can find help and support on our website as well. Thanks so much, Paul. Thank um, you.